to be experienced. And I, I love this. Jo Joseph became a super conqueror, not because he went to college. I'm not, I you know, saying, no, go to school, you know, go to school, that's good. Joseph grew up, unlike Moses, he grew up in the courts of Pharaoh. He learned protocol and decorum. He grew up in the courts of Pharaoh. Mo uh, Joseph grew up where? As a slave, as a prisoner, as a rejected child when he was growing up. Joseph only has one person who likes him, his father. That's it. But for him, that's, that's enough. I mean, he's got the money, though. And then he grew up in jail with, with people who are criminals. This, is a, this was his community. And then one day, because the situation cannot tolerate Joseph anymore, remember, he's a super conqueror, he has to be brought up to the palace with Pharaoh. And they demonstrated wisdom. He never learned that in jail. Neither in the pit or being a slave or being rejected by his brothers. But it's just that because of the love of God, he came up and said, you are a super conqueror. Pharaoh, stand aside. Here's my son. He'll save you and everybody else. By the love of God. So don't, you know, there was this preacher who said, you know, if you discover Jesus and his love for you, you would realize that he has a better life for you than what you have now. That is so true. Because the love of Jesus is overwhelming. My confidence, therefore, is in the love of God. He chose me long before I knew him. He called me long before I wanted him. He decided that I bear fruit. I was not just called and chosen, but I was called and chosen to be something bigger than I thought I could be. I have been chosen to do feats for God to bear fruit. Listen, how can I bear fruit if I will not show if He will not show, show favor to me? How can I become what He has des destined me to be if He will not answer my prayers? How can I be what He wanted me to be if I cannot imagine and hope for bigger and loftier things? Jesus said, then you can ask the Father in my name, and he will give it to you. Amazing. It is the will of God that I should ask the Father. Can you see that? It is the will of God that you should ask. Some of us have given up asking. And it is the will of God to answer my request because I am loved. How can I be a city on a hill if my, answer, my prayers are rejected? This is God's will for you. Number one, right here, right now, that you hear this message. That there will be a shift in your thinking. Man, I am overwhelming. Super duper. When, when I was studying this, I said, my God. And I thought the trials I'm going through is really having a feast on me. And, and the Lord just changed it. No, no, really. The valley of the shadow of death you're walking through is actually freaking out because you're walking there. They're hoping that you're walking somewhere else or you just hurry up with your steps and get on with it already. The trials I'm going through is not enjoying my presence because I am overwhelming. But I have to go through this. I have to go through the three P's to end up with the P of Pharaoh. I have to go through Gerar, be rejected, they cover the waters and everything, eventually end up in Beersheba where there is peace. But in the meantime, I am not defeated because I am a hooper, Nikau. I am a super conqueror. And you know when, my, yesterday, when I was doing this, my kids were like, let's go swimming. And we were, we were swimming the whole time. And if I would define my whole afternoon, the only thing I had stuck in my mind was, I am overwhelming. And that's the only thing. I, I slept and woke up with that word, I am overwhelming. And I can do things. And, and that picked me up from, from a low. And I realized, you know, 
I, 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 I was done swimming. I sat down on the steps of the pool. I got out of the pool. I sat down on the, on the path you set. Still thinking about it, Eli was saying, Tate, come on, let's do it. Like, I, I felt like somewhere else. I went over and did something. I have to sit down always because it was an overwhelming thought that I am overwhelming. And so are you. That my problem cannot overwhelm me because I have overwhelmed the problem. And my, oh, my problem cannot tolerate me. It's waiting for the time that, can he get out now? Is it done yet already? Come on. You know, I pity the demon that will be sent against you and I. You know, when, when just this is like the police, you know, I always picture it like this. In the morning when the sergeant demon will say, all right, guys, this is our today uh, assignment. You, 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 you go over there. You, 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 go over there. You, you go to Pastor Boo Boy. What? I was there last week. Come on. Can you send somebody else? Go over to the sea beast. No way. I was just there yesterday. Can you send someone else? This is favoritism. Go to Pastor Mike. C- Come on, last month, last month is your time now. And then we think the devils will come there and like enjoying it, tormenting us. No. Because when we realize we're the Hooper Canal, Nikaos. Hooper Nikaos. We are super co- uh, overwhelmers. We give them a black eye. And they cannot. Can this be an eight hour shift only, please, Sir Demon Sergeant? Because we give them a bit down. You know, I, I saw this one time when, I was, when we were doing a deliverance. Uh, the demon starts speaking. He said, I will not leave this. I will never leave her. She's mine. Ah, she went like this. And I, I was young then. I was, you know, I was a teenager. I, did, I was a teenager before. <laughs> And I used to walk with Moses. You know? So, I, well, anyway, we were, we were cleaning the church. And, and, and I have nothing else to say, you know. I didn't know that God led me through all this deliverance like, a, like a, somebody who knew nothing. Because he has a bigger plan for me. And then I said, you know what? We don't care. If we have to stay here all night, we will stay here all night. And that demon just shrieked and got angry and got mad. And I said, I wasn't even serious when I was saying that. <laughs> You're a teenager, you gotta have to go home. And I realized, hey, he is an epitome of impatience. I should be the symbol of patience here. And I have t- said this testimony before, you know, when I would come to uh, a few people, there was a, there's something a bit about you. There's my coworker, Robert, I know you're around because I get a headache. Or the spirit told me, that he doesn't like you, that he hates you. Why? Because we are Huber Canal, Nikau. We are overwhelmers. The presence, when we come into the presence of the evil, they will say, Shh, be quiet, don't say anything, he might cast you out. <laughs> Seriously. You know, but then they cannot tolerate any longer. They would start, I have a coworker would start just coughing and coughing and coughing and coughing. But if she steps out, cough stops. Comes in Starts coughing, coughing, coughing. Like they can tolerate you. You are overwhelmer. And so, do not think that this thing, that your trial and tribulation that you are in now, is enjoying you. It's suffering with you. Like, oh, please, come on. Can you get the message already? Like Jonas Fish, he ran out of antacids. Overwhelmer. I mean, if you don't get anything else from this, go home and chew on. Until now, I'm still chewing. I'm an overwhelmer. I'm an overcomer. I'm overwhelming. I am overwhelming. That number three, that you might experience the benefits of the love of God expressed in the most expressive way that love may be expressed, that is death of Jesus Christ. All heaven was emptied to demonstrate the love of God. And the demonstration of the love of God was that he might die. And yet in his death, we become heir. If he called you to hear and made you understand, then there is no other recourse but to come to him. Now let me speak to you individually. If he called you to hear and you heard it and you understood, and you sit there and say, man, that is so true. Man, that is, you may not be, you, you feel like you, you need to chew on this 
some more, but I'm telling you the revelation is working on you. Until now for me, I'm still chewing on this. But the revelation is working. If he called you to hear, he made you understand. Remember Jesus said, nobody comes to me unless the Father draws him near. You cannot understand this until the Father explains it to you. The fact that you're getting it, it was the Father, not your brain, getting it to you. So there is no other recourse but to come to him then. Amen. There is no other. I am overwhelming because of the love of God. I am a super conqueror because of him. And I am, through in the, I am going through this situation. I am beginning to understand this. First of all, I am here because he made it possible. And I'm beginning to understand this because he's explaining this to me. Well, he probably wants to do something to my life. Don't you think so? Jesus said, he who comes to me, because he said nobody comes to me unless the Father draws him. He who comes to me, I will no wise push back. Hindi ko kayo itataboy. Kung kayo tinawag ng ama at lumapit kayo sa akin, hindi ko kayo itataboy. I like that. If you understood, you are here, you understood, not because you're smart, but because the Lord made you understand He is then saying, then you can come to him. And Jesus said, but if you, when you come to me, you know what I'm going to do? I'm not going to push you back. I'm going to take you in. And so come and be the super conqueror that he wants you to be. Come and bring the terror to your situation. Come and be brought out of the pit. Be brought out of prison. And be to the place where you belong. Be in the place where you belong. The place of favor and honor. The place of fruitfulness. Because Jesus said, I want you to bear fruit. There's no fruit in the pit. There's no fruit in the prison. There's no fruit in the place of Potiphar. But there is fruit and abundance in the courts of Pharaoh. We are overwhelming. So this is what I'm going to do. We underst- we're here. We understood. Jesus said, if you understand, nobody comes to me unless the Father draws him near. So the response is to come. And I believe this is a lot, there's going this, this to be a lot of changes today. He is saying, your time of the, from the pit is over, from prison, being asleep at, at body first uh, house. It is time that you overwhelm your situation. It is time to bring judgment to that situation and get out of it. Because the time of fruitfulness is now. Amen? So this is what we're going to do. We're going to exercise our faith. If, if you are challenged by the message and saying, I am an overcomer, we'll come forward. We're going to pray for you. Get out of the pit. Get out of the prison. Get out of Potiphar's house. We're going to pray for you. And, and I believe there's going to be a lot of changes today because we are overcomers. Come. Come with your head up high. Not, oh my God, help me, Lord, I'm coming over. No, no. Say, so, Lord, I'm stepping forward because I am a huper kinao, nikao. I am an overcomer, a super, what do you call it? A super, a super conqueror. I'm not just conqueror. I am a super conqueror. And I'm stepping forward to you, Jesus, assuming my position, saying, yes, I'm out of the pit. I'm out of the prison, I'm out of Potiphar's house, and I'm into the place of favor where I could bear fruit. Jesus said, I did, you did not choose me, I chose you. Chose you to bear fruit. If you know this in your place, you're not bearing fruit, get out of it. So let's do this. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord. Let's all stand up. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you. Lord, we thank you for a revelation of super conquer through your love. God, we are a bunch of people scared until we heard that Jesus' love, which is from God, demonstrated in Christ by his dying for us, made us heir of the heavenlies and has made me a super conqueror. God is saying, listen, you are overwhelming. You are overwhelming. The enemy sees you, he shakes. Paul said, I am convinced no demon can stand your way. He said that. Not even angels, never even the good ones. Neither height nor depth. 
No trials or tribulations can withhold you, can push you back. 